How's it going, party people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Killer Cobra Dude. Today we have some more Halo 5 gameplay for you. Um, but before we get in today's uh, discussion, um, which is going to be about the uh, Halo Infinite campaign and just Halo campaigns in general, I would like to thank my new subscribers for subscribing to the channel. I now have a grand total of four subscribers. Um, I know who two of them are personally, so uh, thank you so much to those two people that I know, one of them being my little brother, but also thank you so much for the two people that I've never met before that are subscribing to the channel. I hope that you're getting something out of the channel that you enjoy, um, and I hope that I can keep coming up with some content that you guys like to uh, listen to and watch and all that kind of stuff. So thank you so much. I just wanted to say that. It means a lot um, for me. You know, I've been doing this you know, like 20-ish videos now, and so it really means a lot to start to get some subscribers, so thank you. Um, also, just a quick tip, something I've noticed when I've been playing Halo 5 more and more recently, um, and the struggles that I've been having while playing Halo 5, something I noticed that's improved my game quite a bit is I just sprint way too much. Um, I've been starting to be a lot better about it, but I've noticed that I'll go, I'll sprint um, just into a fight instead of stopping my sprint short of the fight and then just walking my way into it. I think that's a much better approach because, you know, it takes time for you to pull up your gun after you sprint and get your first few shots off. And if you're sprinting, um, like I did right there, like I was lucky that I had the BR and I was able to land shots and that person was in a tight corridor. But, um... If it had been turned around and I was sprinting down that corridor, I probably would have been screwed. Um, so, you know, I've been trying to focus on that a little bit each game. Each game, or pretty much each day, I find something that I want to try and work on a little bit, whether it be, um, you know, just aiming or maybe thrustering at better times. Um, and today when I was playing, I was definitely working on making sure to not sprint uh all over the place when running into fights and trying to gather myself before going into a fight. So just something I thought you guys might find interesting. Um, so yeah, but anyways, like I said, the main uh, topic of today's video is going to be Halo campaigns um, in general and specifically the difficulty levels in Halo campaigns. Uh, so I got the new Modern Warfare when it came out, um, you know, like the the revamp of Modern Warfare that came out um, in 2019. And the first thing I always do when I get a new game is I play the campaign all the way through on the hardest difficulty. Uh, it doesn't matter what game it is, um, what franchise it comes from, I always play the hardest difficulty. I just think it's something fun to do. You get some good achievements for it usually because a lot of the time each individual mission um, has an achievement for completing it period, and then a achievement for completing it on the hardest difficulty. So you just get two birds with one stone like that. Um, so when I picked up Modern Warfare and played it, I put it on, uh, I think, Veteran is, you know, the hardest difficulty for Call of Duty. And I was really disappointed at how easy it was. Um, it wasn't really all that difficult. It didn't make, like, the AI any better or smarter or anything like that, but essentially what it did was just make the damage that the enemies did worth more. Um, and that's not really what I like to see out of the hardest difficulty level um, in a campaign for a video game. So when I look at, back at some of the greatest Halo campaigns, you know, Halo 1, 2, 3, Reach, in my opinion, I know a lot of people don't feel that way, but Reach also... Um, the, the difficulty, like, beating those games on Legendary was so hard, is so hard, and it takes forever to do because the harder things get, the different uh, ways the AI interact with you, the, the elites handle things differently on easy uh, difficulty versus, you know, the Legendary difficulty. And so it's just so much fun. It's so much more rewarding to know that things are... You know, they're different when you're stepping into a much harder uh, difficulty on the campaign. And I really appreciate that about Halo games. I'm hoping Halo Infinite is the same way. Um, I've talked about it in the videos before. I'm interested to see who the enemies are in Halo Infinite. Um, are they going to bring Elites back? Are they going to bring Brutes? Are they going to bring Flood? Are they going to bring the Forerunner? Um, and so 
I'm really interested to see the route that they go with the Halo Infinite campaign, but one thing's for sure, I really hope that they stick with the style of, you know, damn near impossible legendary um, difficulty when it comes to Halo campaigns. And, of course, the, the lasso if you really just want to torture yourself. So, um, like I said, don't know exactly what to expect. It's still too soon, but that's what I hope to see out of it. There was just such a fulfilling feeling when you beat the campaign on Legendary for the first time and you felt so good and then you go back and you deal with your friends you know, on easy difficulty and it's just not very hard because you, you know what it was like to beat it by yourself on the hardest difficulty. It's just a lot of fun and so rewarding. So, um, Something I was also trying out in this gameplay, sorry reverting back to the gameplay, is I was using the noob combo. Um, and that's one of the uh, medals that I was talking about yesterday that added to Halo 5 um, is getting that noob combo kill. And it's like, really, you're going to give me a medal for using the noob combo and you're actually going to call it the noob combo medal. I just thought that was funny. Um, thought it was. I think, you know, it's ironic. They're doing it on purpose as a sort of irony to call you a noob for doing it. But it just goes back to the idea of giving you a medal for anything, no matter what it is. So... Um, yeah, just I don't think I talked about that one specifically in yesterday's video, and I just wanted to bring that up because um, I used it today, and it reminded me of that. So, and that also, you know, relates back to the campaigns. It's like one of the like most efficient and effective way to beat the campaign on Legendary for Halo Two and Three and all those campaigns, and especially Combat Evolved, are to use the green gun. You know, use that plasma pistol, charge it take down an elite shields and then pop them with a headshot because if you go in with any other gun and try to do that you're not going to have a good time um and so pretty much every veteran halo player knows that in order to make it through the campaign on legendary you're going to be needing to use that green gun um charging up the plasma pistol shot and you know taking out the elites and the big enemies in that way so it's just an interesting dynamic that halo has call of duty isn't really like that you know you shoot someone three or four times with an M4 on any difficulty, they're going to die. Um, they're all going to act the same way. They're just going to kind of run straight at you or hide behind some cover, um, and that's pretty much it. But Halo, it always changes. You never know what you're going to get. Elites are absolutely just going to stomp all over your life um, and make you thank them for it. And so I just thought that would be a great discussion for today's video. So... We're wrapping up, getting towards the end of the gameplay. As you guys can see, we're actually losing by five kills at this point. And I told you guys I don't really upload videos unless we win. So if you've been watching the score, um, we are going to make a comeback here. Uh, it's pretty intense gameplay. I mentioned it yesterday. I'm not the greatest Halo player of all time, but I do try to just upload, you know, overall good games in general um and this was definitely a good one it was a nail biter it's not like it was ranked or anything you know spectacular but i like to take every game pretty seriously you know um i'm here for a good time but i'm also very competitive and so um we're starting to catch up close that score gap and i actually don't even come in first on the team but you know it's a team effort it works um i think i did have the most assists so that's good but yeah, running for the overshield, seeing how we can get these last few kills. I don't know what we did differently to make them, you know, not be able to get kills towards the end of the game um, and make it so that we could catch up more. Maybe we were just sticking together better. I was kind of trying to stay glued to my teammate's hip right there. But, yep, there's the uh, final kill, and we get the victory. So really awesome comeback. So thank you so much, guys.